Hello and welcome to Structured Change. Today we're going to actually explore the term RAMS, which stands for Reliability, Availability, Maintainability and Supportability. So many people hear the word RAMS and they do think of the technical connotation it has to reliability engineering. Well, this next slide deck I'm going to walk you through will actually demonstrate how RAMS itself is a great concept model for speaking to stakeholders, that's upper management, customers, suppliers, as to where the levers are for change in terms of achieving value and continual improvement. So let's take a look at this next presentation, RAM Simplified. If we take a look at this image here, what we're really trying to say is that while the scale is an asset itself in representation, stakeholder requirements need to be balanced out against reliability, availability, maintainability and supportability in order to achieve value to the right for stakeholders. Taking a look at this diagram here, RAMS is typically expressed like this. You can see there's a horizontal line between availability and maintainability. We'll come to this in a moment. If you take a look at this diagram here, you can see that Above the line, we're looking at revenue. Below the line, we're looking at cost. Now, this is important to realize because this creates great tension between the two because both above the line and below the line need to equal out in order to generate that equilibrium of value for stakeholders. This next diagram here, you can see that design influence is a major factor in determining reliability and reliability also plays bearing on availability. Whereas below the line it's your degree and maturity in planning that assist in your supportability but from supportability allows you to be maintaining in your correct regime, timescales etc. So to be able to maintain, we need availability of our asset, possession of, but also to have availability, we also need to be mindful of our maintenance. And this is where the two come across the line and meet head on and actually demonstrate how well you do do your planning, but also to how well your design considered this fact. This next diagram here, you'll see we, we introduce the term support analysis, and this is quite prevalent in the Asset Management Body of Knowledge from the Asset Management Council of Australia. We talk about the different capabilities within this area, but ultimately support analysis plays great depth for both sides, and one cannot exist without the other. But as you will see in other presentations on this website when we have an operator up here and a maintainer down here it can create tension that is not aligned which creates um, negative tension and often a push-pull which unfortunately plays havoc on the asset and the delivery of value. So in summary what we're trying to say here is the model for RAMS is driven by design and planning, or both of them. It's done through a risk management or a risk profile using support analysis. Revenue can be seen as performance. And of course, maintainability is often referred to as a cost, although it's really an investment in order to achieve value. So the next time you're using the term RAMS, either with top management or technical stakeholders, bring them together in the concept of what it actually means from beginning to end. Because so often we talk about RAMs down at the operational and maintenance end when things are in full swing, whereas we have a great opportunity to influence the outcome of both of those in the design and planning phases. So remember, your inherent a reliability is determined by your design, but planning can be refined and can be taken a step further in terms of materials, the grouping of tasks, the cycle of tasks, 
but as you can see, one cannot live without the other. I hope you've got something out of this video and presentation, and at StructureChange.tv you'll find many more similar themes.